Hi guys, this is Toya from Planning and Teaching. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another plan with me and my teacher Happy Planner. And we're going to be setting up the monthly um, setup as well as the dashboard. So um, I decided to go ahead and go into February in my teacher planner just because my mini and my classic size planners were already transitioning um, to behind the February divider. So I decided to do the same thing even though I have a sheet remaining in um, the January section. So I'm popping out the dashboard as well as the monthly pages and I'm super excited about February. My favorite colors are purple and pink so I absolutely love the way um, the divider looks and I love the color scheme. So the first thing I am doing is grabbing my seasonal sticker book as well as my loose sheet. These sheets um, come from an old uh, seasonal sticker book that I had when I first started planning as well as my teacher edition box kit those stickers and then I have a few stickers that kind of fell out of other sticker books that I currently have so I just kind of keep all the loose ones together so I went ahead and laid down on the first that I have a substitute as well as an important sticker on the 12th because I have some things going on on that date so I want to go ahead and do that um, that week is going to be super busy so I want to go in with the right um, mindset and then I'm just kind of looking through the loose sheets to see if there's anything else that I would like to use um, you know I love to decorate in my classic and my mini size but I try to keep my teacher edition um, happy planner functional I do like a little bit of decor but not too much so I'm kind of flipping through my seasonal sticker book just to see if there are any Valentine's related stickers um, that's the one holiday that I did not see really represented. I saw a few little heart stickers that I just showed you, but other than that, I didn't really see that. But once again, it's seasonal, so it's it's more so for spring, summer, and fall and winter. Um, we are having a Valentine's party on the 14th, so I decided to cover up the Valentine's Day that's typed into the planner with that gold dated sticker. And then I took that party banner and laid it right underneath and I love how cute that turned out it really stood out to me um, and then I was flipping through once again just looking for something for some inspiration for um, Valentine's Day now you guys know that I absolutely love clear stickers if you have been following me for a while so I found this really cute one that says teachers change the world one child at a time and it was like reddish pink so it kind of really went with the thing so I really sped this video up because I was looking for a particular sticker um, to represent a, a day for me and I did not find it. I looked through both of my student sticker books, the seasonal as well as both of my teacher edition and I did not find that sticker. So of course when you can't find what you're looking for you have to make it. So how do you make the sticker that you want? Well of course you're going to pull out your handy dandy alphabet sticker book. And so I'm just going through and I have an announcement to make and so I'm going to do so with these stickers and I'm going to let it spell out for you and then I'll do some details of what's going on in just a moment. So if you've been guessing, yes it does say last day. Um, I am leaving my teaching post um, for this year before the year is out. Um, this is the first time I've ever had to do this. I have been teaching now for the last six years and I've had to um, make this decision because my husband got a new job and we are moving out of state. So for those of you who don't know, I currently live in Mississippi but I will be moving to Alabama. Um, that weekend and so that's going to be my last day at school. Um, it was a tough decision but we decided as a family not to um, stay separated for so many months and it's, it's bittersweet um, for me. I wanted to put a smiley face and a frowning face because it's bittersweet but I'm going to be sad on that day because um, if you are a teacher, you know that your students become your children and it's, it was a very hard choice to make But I wanted to keep my family together and that's important to me So um, you guys will not be getting any more plan with me in my teacher edition until I get a new position in Alabama So I will definitely keep you guys posted on that So leave a comment below if you want to see like my job search 
um, process if you want to see me do some vlogs on how I'm preparing to get a new position um, in Alabama I'll be happy to do that because I really want to transition this um, channel into uh, vlogs for my teachers that follow me but continue to do my plan with me for my planner babes who are not teachers so back into the video I am laying down some hot pink washi just to kind of go with my theme and I'm laying that down because I will no longer be teaching so so I'm gonna really use these three weeks that I have to really hit skills hard and review with my students before my replacement takes over and for those of you who want to know my replacement is a certified teacher who has taught fifth grade in the past and she is more than capable of taking over um, behind me but I really want to make sure my students have everything and then all she'll have to do is to reiterate some skills so um, that's about wraps up the functional part of the monthly section um, so the next thing I want to do is kind of add a little bit of decoration to the planner so um, I decided that I was going to add in this really really cute clear sticker that says life is better with sprinkles I wanted to utilize um, sweets for February so I picked some donuts and then I grabbed the sprinkle sticker because it goes with the donut thing and so I just laid a few around there um, and then I also wanted to add in a little bit of flair and use one of my seasonal stickers that says love is in the air and then I'm going to grab the um, hearts that go with that and that's going to wrap up my monthly section in my teacher planner so the next thing we're going to look at is the actual dashboard and as you know I like to make my dashboard functional and I like to make it work for me so I don't necessarily use all of the things that are there and you're going to see that right now love this divider it is so cute thought it was so cute so I wanted to show you guys okay so let's look at this um, dashboard um, so it says top five tasks student birthdays events and this month's goal um, and I'm gonna cover up the birthday with the let's party sticker and just I'm gonna write down the things that my students want to have for the Valentine's party there um, and I thought that was a good idea and then I'm making a checklist of things that I need to accomplish in my classroom just getting things wrapped up so I'm using this really pretty hot pink um, paper mate flare pen and I'm putting down my top five tasks that I need to accomplish um, for my room and those are to declutter um, my classroom and then I also want to pack up my library because I have tons of books from Scholastic that I ordered. Um, I want to um, basically gift items that I'm not going to use because as teachers we collect a lot of things so I really want to declutter um, all of the things that I need to uh, get rid of. In addition to that, I want to get all of my large items loaded up and I want to take class pictures with my students just so that um, I can send them something toward the end of the year before they take their test just to motivate them. Um, and then the next thing that I'm putting there are the skills that I want to focus on, the things that I really want to accomplish. And I want to focus on writing and reviewing all of the uh, standards and then working with small groups. And the thing that I want to focus on the most is encouragement. So, um, and you guys may not want to know this, but my kids want, want chili cheese dogs for, for Valentine's Day. They want cupcakes and they want um a punch that I made for them for Christmas and they want candy so that's what we're gonna be doing um, and then any events that we have going on would be me leaving on the 16th and a party on the 14th so that's all that I'm gonna put on my dashboard and that's all that I have for you today for this setup. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button and keep God first in everything you do. Happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.